hi let's now build a website called tin dog so this is a tinder for dogs just a crazy idea it is just used uh, to create the website so basically we have a dog picture because it is a dog website and then uh, we have testimonial section and then we have a pricing section and then we have the footer okay so we don't have navigation bar here okay so simply we have the hero section and we have the features section and then we have testimonial section and then we have pricing section and then we have a footer simple okay so let's now go to bootstrap website and get the heroes templates so in the examples bootstrap if you go to heroes yeah so we need a picture so this one is suitable so there is a image there is a text and there are two buttons so we will go by this we will copy it So we want to copy the entire section. So this is the div which is covering entire section. So you can enlarge it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So if you cover, if you take this container, it is containing all of them, right? So this is the div section with container. It might not be visible for you, but you can see here the entire part is highlighted. So we want to copy that all and we can copy element, right click, copy, copy element. Now, once you copy the element, we can paste it in the body. So we already have divided into various sections okay <clears throat> so this is the hero section but you can see that it is very plain and it does not look like what we have copied that was actually beautiful so what could be the problem is we didn't include bootstrap link in the code at okay so let's include the bootstrap link because see it is looking very ugly so this is not what we wanted right so include the bootstrap link so we have copied the bootstrap link and we will paste it in the head section Now you can see the website will look much better. So now if you open it, yeah, you can see that it is styled and it looks better compared to pure HTML. Okay, now image is missing here. Let's place that image also. So you can use your own images. We have downloaded the image that dog image now it is too big the dog image is too big compared to the text let's change the uh, height of it so you don't have to change the width you can remove it because once you change the height it will automatically scale down even the width will decrease yeah now it is looking better let's change the text so changing the text generally what happens is as a web developer a client will give you the text file the text the content that has to be added to the website it is a general practice they will give you a text file you have to just copy paste it you are not going to write the content because you don't know the business you are only a web developer who is designing the website content comes from the client so we have taken some 
content and kept it in the text file. So we are just replacing it. If you want, you can add text or you can leave it because we are not actually selling the website. It is just the design. You understood the design, right? How we are getting it. So we have got the text and we have re removed that paragraph. So that paragraph is gone. Now we are changing the buttons to download and download. And there are some SVG files for the logos. So you can download the SVG files. They are available on Bootstrap. Any logo you want, there will be a SVG code. You can download that code and you can place it. Then you will get the logos. So we want on the button, we want two logos. One is Apple and the other one is uh, Google Play. So that people will understand that they will get a app, hack Apple app or the Android app. So these logos I already downloaded. You can download them from the Bootstrap website. So now you can see that there is an Apple logo here. It might not be visible, but there is an Apple logo and there is a Google Play logo. Okay. Now the next thing that we want to do is add the background, this gradient, gradient background. Okay. For that. So there is a website called codepen.io and this guy has given a beautiful gradient background. So it is pure CSS gradient background animation is given. So we are going to copy this code, <coughs> the CSS code. So we have already copied it. So we are going to add that code. So style.css has it. So we have added it and we have to just add that class. That class is gradient background and to that gradient background already styles are applied. So we will add it here to the container. Now we will get the background. Now we got the background. But then if you observe it, the background is, it should take the entire width of the screen, but it is taking only some part because we have given it to the container. Let's give it to the div above the container, okay? To the suction, so above the container there is suction. So suction is generally used to divide the code into various sections so that it will be together, related things will be together. Now when you apply it to the suction, it is up, it will take the entire width. So we got the hero ready, but if you see it, The colors are different here. It is blue color primary and then the other one is also not visible. So let's change them. Button colors. Go to the button and there is outline secondary is there. So button outline secondary. We are converting it to button out outline light. And the primary also button primary, we will convert it to button light. Now the buttons will look better. Let's see the padding. So here, if you observe it, there is some gap in here. We don't want this gap. Let us see why we got this gap. So if you look at the final website, there is no gap. But here in this website, we got some gap. Let's inspect it and see why we got the gap. 
So here if you observe it, 
let's go to the container and give margin we want margin in the top that is why we are writing empty empty means margin top 5 so now we have got the margin also now there is a problem that these squares or these small icons present small boxes present here or in square shape but we wanted round but actually in the uh, when you look at the features uh, this one bootstrap uh, features element there we have the uh, rounded buttons only but we got square buttons if you observe it here so here they have given rounded only can you remove this here they have given rounded only but we got square what could be the problem is they might have applied styles separately which are not bootstrap and therefore that those styles are not available with us we have included only bootstrap link now let's see the styling that they might have given so if you look at the styles so here they have used icon square and here if you look in the styles it is given as features.css but other parts it is given as utilities.css so when you see utilities.css it means that it is bootstrap so these styles are coming from bootstrap and when they give you features.css it means that they have added them separately so we need to add these styles already the class is included from the when i copied the element i got the class but the styling to the class is not in our file so let's copy this and paste it in our style sheet dot yeah yeah now we got rounded ones so what you can do is put some icons here i am not putting them it is you, you can just copy the icons from bootstrap and put them here so i am not doing that because it is unnecessary for this course so you do it on when you are designing the website so i will leave it here okay thank you